Hi, I am Nick from RingU, uh, and I'm here today to talk to you about setting up your Hello Hub, getting your RingU phone system configured. Some of the things you might need and might not have considered when purchasing a phone system uh, is that it is dependent on your office network. For your office network, you absolutely must have a router. It does not have to be a wireless router. It does not have to be anything in particular, really. It just must have Ethernet connections. Our box connects through a wired connection. And you must have a router that supports a wired connection. You must either have a spare port on your router, or what you can do is buy a network switch. Plug one cable from your router into it, and this expands to multiple ports. This allows you to add multiple wired devices to your network. So now it's time to set up your RingU phone system for the first time. You've received your Hello Hub, you've received your phones, and you are ready to go. Now, we would like to make sure that this is something that anybody can do. If you're comfortable with setting up your own wireless printer, wireless router, any other consumer electronics device that plugs into your network, we feel like you should be able to get the Renew small business phone system configured and ready for your office. So, without further ado, I would like to bring in somebody who is not familiar with our phone system. I'm anybody. You are just <laughs> absolutely anybody. Now, no. I'm not even sure, Nick. I'm Nancy. Right, I'm Nick. I'm not even sure that I would be comfortable setting up a wireless printer at my house. So this is going to okay. be a, All right. so a not particularly, I'm, yes, yeah, simpler. Okay. Simpler. So Let's I've go. gotten my Ring U Hub and I've gotten my phone. So I think I'm going to start with the Ring U Hub. Good deal. This is a test. It's cute. Cute is good. I've got a quick start guide. It tells me where to go if I need help. I don't know. Maybe I don't even want to look at the directions. Maybe I'm just going to try to figure it out without them. We've got the Ethernet thingy plugged into the office Ethernet, and my computer on my desk is plugged into it. I have got an Ethernet plug. So I am going to. Just plug in the Hello Hub. I can see on the back that there's a plug that matches this. It's really the only place it could possibly go. I'm going to take the other end and I'm going to plug it into my, what was that called? It's the internet. The inter it's it the internet. It's from the internet. I didn't invent it. Okay, now I'm going to plug in the electricity, which again, there's a switch back here. That says DC in, plug that in, take that wire, plug that into electricity. In. So now I'm going to open up my phone. Telephone. Beautiful. It's kind of just one piece though. Aha! There's a handset. Here's a bunch of other pieces. This plugs into there, and this plugs in here somewhere. Probably where it says handset. I can put the base on really quick. Oh, my first technical help, which I don't think yeah. I need. I'm just not no, worried about is, the space right now. This is not right technical help. That's not this technical just, at all. This is just for demonstration purposes. Oh, yeah, I could have done oh. that. Okay, now I want my phone to hook it to hook up to my internet. I already have my computer hooked up to the internet. So I think what I need to do is my telephone has two places where I can hook up into the internet. Okay, so I plugged that in where it says LAN. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that means, but the other one says PC, and I know this isn't a PC. Then I plug the phone into the Network hub? Whatever that box is over there by mm -hmm. the router. Just for, for clarification, if you had one wall jack running to your desk computer, right. you can run that cable directly into the phone, and the phone has a pass-through, so you can run a cable from the phone to your computer. That way you only need one jack right. for each. Desk. Okay, that's what I was thinking. So, I was going to turn the Hello Hub on and see what happens. 
So I'm gonna look at the directions now. And the first thing it says, <laughs> don't plug anything in yet. Oops. <laughs> well, I've done everything backwards, but I don't think it's gonna matter. We this, wanted to watch you do this. With this, this is little uh, this tech is help jump awesome. in without the instructions because I go. already know I don't know anything. There we go. It, and you're doing it is, great. It is idiot proof. Okay, so now I type in portal.ring-u.com and click register. Hey guys, Nick here to walk you through the online registration and setup process. So head over to portal.ring-u.com and click to register your Hello Hub. Now you'll be prompted to enter the name of your business, the name of your system administrator, an email address to use for system administration, current phone number, business address, and then confirm the city, state, and zip. You'll be sent a verification code to your email address, so that email address must be valid, and then you'll need to set a password for the administrative account. After you log in for the first time, it's time to set up your system. Our servers will find your Hello Hub on the public internet, and you will click to continue. Here we're going to go through the process of setting up a new number, and you'll be presented a list of numbers that are local to you. You can always transfer a number at any point, so we are just going to walk you through the quickest part of this process. After selecting your phone number, you're going to be prompted to provide E911 information. We're going to skip that for now and move forward to selecting how many lines we'd like on the account, and then selecting what features we'd like, including backup and replacement, recording, teleconference, and we're going to leave fax for now. Finally, we're going to need you to agree to our terms and conditions and confirm this is what your monthly bill will actually look like. The absolute last part of our setup process is entering payment information, and we've done that so that you know what you're getting into before we ever have your credit card information. Congratulations, you now have an active phone system. Now you can exit the wizard and you'll be presented with a welcome screen with your phone number on it. Your configuration is not complete, but you can dial that number and press any number on the phone to ring all of your extensions. Hopefully this has given you an insight into how to set up the RingU small business phone system. Thanks for watching.